what is the meaning of life and how do I know what to do? Well, it's kind of different for everybody in life, right? It's kind of different for what you really want to do or what you really know what you want to do with your life. It's hard to say exactly what I want you to do for your life and what I should do for my life because we're all different human beings, but we're also all connected. Now, if you don't know what to do with your life, it's a great idea to learn by example and be like somebody that you want to be. For example, me personally, I loved Joe Rogan. I love Jordan Peterson. I love Sam Harris. I love Andrew Tate. I love Andrew Carnegie. I love Napoleon Hill. I love Robert Kiyosaki. You know, those are just few. Oh, and most importantly, Jim Rohn, right? When it comes to mentorship, Jim Rohn is definitely A1 and Darian Hardy. But when it comes to individuals and who you should look up to, you have to be that individual that will indefinitely make that decision on who you should look up to and what what individuals out there can make your life better. You know, in an age and era where we should be all connected, it kind of feels like the exact opposite, where all of us are seeing each other through this device, this device that doesn't have feelings, this device in front of our faces that can't actually give us real input until we start making it actually have real input. And it's that that mechanical interaction that really doesn't have conscious feeling that makes it seem not authentic. It doesn't really make it seem authentic. No matter how authentic or no matter how real it feels, I honestly feel like having connection with conscious beings on this planet is the way to go, but it's just not going to be that way. So everything will change and our whole mindset will drift into something mechanical, something ambiance, something scary, but at the same time evolutionary. And that's how I truly feel about the video that I just made.